Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Well, if anyone could figure out a good use for it. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Shoot. Wait there. Okay. I'll be here then. You're gonna head on. Alright. All anyone's turned up so far is that she's got that pit boy on her arm. So, our new overboss is a vault dweller. Or ice the vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Hey there. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> A clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? What were you discussing when I walked in? Well, you, Overboss. You're an unknown quantity, and we're interested in knowing who we're dealing with. So we'd like if you answered the question. Yes. What went through you as you crushed the life out of that oath? Taking down an opponent like that, it's thrilling. Sure looked it. Hmm. Perhaps you're better suited to this than I expected. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Making money? Exactly. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though, by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Actually, I'm... Really more in this for the soda. Great. Another nut- William. Of course, Overboss. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. 
But do take a little time to consider the kind of life we could all have if we put this place back to doing what it does best. Pack act like rabid animals. Ought to be dealt with the same way. Mags, have some work, overboss, that I think may be up your alley. Interested? William. Operator's got no tolerance for dead work. Those who can't cut it, they're gone. Hey there. <sighs> I always thought the parlor was a bit garish, but Mags and William have taken a shine to it, and two Trump won, I guess. Mags, William, and Lizzie. All you have to do is hear them speak to know they weren't born. Over, boss. Making trouble? Good. Normally have me frisk visitors, but you get special treatment. Hey, where to? Come on. That's a plan. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other. Though. We'd all considered putting a bullet in Coulter's back at some point. Suppose you just beat us to it. Huh? Don't worry. I don't cause problems. You love it, and you know it. Hey there, boss. You really laid a beat down on Coulter. That was something. Guess that means his big plans for the park died with him. Big plans, huh? Did that include getting killed in his own arena? Well, of course not, boss. Back when Coulter first took over, he had big ideas, and he made some big promises. His plan was to get the power plant back online and light up the whole park, making it easier to conquer and safer for all of us. We could have done it too, but things changed, slowed down. Coulter stopped pushing, stopped caring so much. Why did he stop caring? Did something happen? Some of the gangs were guessing he got too comfortable, but... I don't really know. Well, I'm just a traitor, so I know my opinion doesn't count for anything. But I still think it's a good plan. Hell, I might even give those poor bastards out in Dry Rock Gulch a fighting chance. What poor bastards are you talking about? Back when the raiders took over, some of us, the traitors who were here before, I mean, got away. Last I heard, those folks were holed up in Dry Rock Gulch. They're probably struggling, if they're alive at all. You think you'll follow through on Coulter's plan? Get the juice flowing again? Coulter had the right idea. I just might finish what he started. I hope you do, boss. Truth is, I've dreamed about that day more than once. Not sure why, really. Maybe I've just grown attached to the place. What with all the work I've done on it. It sounds funny, I know, but... I think Nuka World is something really special. I think she deserves to have her lights shine again. And just imagine, at night you'd see it for miles around. Folk would talk about it. 
They'd come from all over to shop in the market. That's a lot of caps for you and the gangs. How long have you been here? Been about 20 years now, I guess. For better or worse, Nuka World is my home. Gotta get back to work here. See you around, boss. Came a long way to see this place. Found some pretty good stuff while I was out on the road. Interested? Let's see what you got. Sure, I'm, I'm here to trade, but I'm not letting my guard down for a second. Weapons of all kinds, yours Just for a fair Just here to pick up price. some supplies, boss. Well, well, look who it is. Are you here to grace my humble market stand with your presence, oh great boss, sir? Lose the attitude, or lose something a lot more valuable. Sorry. I know you didn't ask for this. It's just hard not to be bitter, you know? We do all the work, then the gangs reap the rewards. Pretty sweet setup, at least for you. But I guess it doesn't really matter what I think, does it? As long as I'm wearing this collar, I'm no better than a slave. Do you complain this much to everyone? Or am I just being singled out here? Well, it's not every day that one of us low-life traders get to have words with the high and mighty overboss. Maybe I didn't want to waste the opportunity to tell you how things really are around here. <sighs> now, if you need guns or ammo, I'm the one you talk to. And before you ask, yeah, everyone pays. Even you. Sure. Let's take a look. Sure. Supplies of Raiders all kinds for your about journeys blood across the Commonwealth. I hope I never find out what those are. Hey, boss. Gotta admit, it was good to see Coulter go down. He scared the hell out of me. Gave me nightmares. What was he like? In a word, violent. The other Raiders might also tell you that he got a little too comfortable in the position. In any case, he wasn't someone whose bad side I ever wanted to be on. Just like I don't ever want to be on yours. I'm not planning to give anyone nightmares. Thank goodness. I'll sleep a lot better having you in charge. So, uh, what do you think? About running Nuka World, I mean. Figure it must be a pretty tough job. Keeping all these raiders in line. I wasn't really looking to become the overboss of Nuka World. But I might as well enjoy the benefits of my position. Makes sense to me. Well, I'm sure you've got more important stuff to do than talk to me. Or were you here to pick something up? Let's see what you have. Sure thing. Oh, uh, hello, boss. Congratulations on taking out Coulter. I'm, uh, sure you'll do great. Why would you congratulate me? It's not like you're free to go. Well, to be honest, I, I don't know you yet, boss. Sorry I'm so nervous. I didn't mean any disrespect, boss. I just don't know where I stand with you, and I, I don't want to end up pissing you off. That, and well, 
I'd be lying if I said we weren't all wondering how you plan to run the place. I mean, this is your show now. You can do anything you want. You can run Nuka World just like Coulter. Business as usual, or... You could... Um, well, you know... Get rid of the Raiders if you don't exactly agree with how they're running the place. Well, I admit, I didn't like being roped into this job in the first place. Then this might be your chance to make some changes around here. The gangs that call this place home are already at each other's throats. Now, you could risk your own neck and try to keep them from tearing each other apart, or you could do the right thing and put them in the ground. And when it's all said and done, you're still running this place from your fancy house on the mountain over there. Except now, you won't have to sleep with a gun under your pillow. I'm not making any promises, but I'll keep it in mind. It's your call, boss. If you're serious about this, then you'll have to take down the leaders of the gangs. That means putting a bullet into Nisha, Mason, Mags, and Mags's brother, William. Once you do that, the gangs will collapse and Nuka Town goes back to being a free trading post. I should, uh, probably stop talking about this out here. Just keep what I said in mind. Anyway, I'm the closest thing to a doctor around here. I treat everyone, raider, trader, or traveler alike. Got some medical supplies too, if you're looking for those. A doctor? How did you end up in this place? Well, it's a bit of a story. I used to live at a settlement west of here. We got hit by Coulter and his gang back when he had one. It was a tough fight. We killed some of theirs, they killed some of ours. They were wounded on both sides, but nobody could get to them. I called out for a ceasefire on the condition that I'd see to their injuries as well as ours. Saved a few lives that day, including Coulter's. When he set up this place, he came back for me. Said if I came along, he'd make sure his guys wouldn't hit our settlement again. Now this place is my home. Anyway, anything I can do for you? Treatment or supplies? Not now. Very well. Looking to chill out or get fired kind of bad up. For these By the way, I the got what you need. Like that. The Three rival comes, gangs in one place? And What's your pleasure killing today? Each other? You're drifting Never away, looks like. like it. I get that sometimes. What have you got? The medicine you need to set yourself free. I've got chems of all kinds for you, boss. Just tell me what you need. Not interested. Whatever you want, boss. This place really makes me want a new Coca-Cola. Things will get better, one day. Welcome to the nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. Sheep or a wolf, because the pack only runs with wolves. Excuse me. Yeah? Can you talk to Mags' 
something? You said we ain't allowed to kill anyone. Oh, oh ain't no one sad about Cole. Just don't screw this up. Most can handle their own shit without bothering about it. You need help finding the place here? No. No! I can handle it. There's plenty of collars in the kennels if you can. Now that I get a closer look at you, not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. I'll send you my resume and references. The fuck's a resume? Whatever, don't matter. Name's Mason, the Pax Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be overboss, for now. But I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. As long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. The pack? Fitting. You smell like animals. Ah, never heard that one before. Look, it ain't like anyone's broke up about Colton. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be up. If I thought the other gang would go along, yeah, I'd run this place in a heartbeat. Might have to, if you turn out to be a turd. At least it ain't Mags Black, and that freak Nisha. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter. I have big plans for this place. You'll see. Maybe you're the real deal. We thought Coulter was the real deal, too. He's living in a pool of his own blood. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Real good. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what we achieved. I'm listening. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of caps we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy. Not even the disciples. And they're normally a chipper bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast. Gage put the brakes on that. Got us together and promised he'd find someone to deal with Colton. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Colton? Hey, I you know what I've heard. Story is that Gage talked Colter into becoming overboss. And he got you in here, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe it lets him get things done without getting dirt on his hands. After Colter went soft, Gage got us behind closed doors and promised he'd get someone to off Colter. And you did just that. Might have been the whole point of the gauntlet all along. I trust we're done with the history lesson? Yeah, boss. Just trying to fill you in on why we're all so pissed off. Look, let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack. I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. Don't worry, you'll get your fair share of the caps. Sure, fine. But it ain't just about the caps. It's also about respect. If you want us at your heel, we expect to be top dogs around here. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty's a two-way street.
you're wearing a collar, it's because you asked for it. Ain't no one's a slave that don't want to be. Spot, Scab. So, like Sweep that patch ago. again. I'm running Please, with this just gang. leave me alone. I'm doing my best, okay? Hey, you shoot my help and you're gonna be the one pushing that hey, asshole, You got that tough guy. To just having radio. a little fun, Granny. Keeping the kid on his toes. I don't give a mole rat's ass how many of you raped Hey, little are. announcement for here. you. See that crazy there? robot dressed like a bottle? We got a new overboss and all, but we're still stuck I with the I thought about trying my hand at the godwood just to see Unless if I could do it. Unless you want to keep your asses <laughs> Waste out of parts time we now. ain't secured. No all one's all kinds of weird shit out there. It ain't easy keeping the zoo. Here's we all do our part. Hey there, Miss Boss Ma'am. Lauren sells the drinks. You'll probably want to talk to her. I thought about trying my hand at the god <coughs> just to see what I could play hard. That's the right time now. So, no, what are you doing? Like ten different versions from ten different What have you got? Guys, I got swear. one. It's true. And when you get a story like that, well, you just know there's got to be some truth to it. But the way this story starts is a mystery. The guy selling cans. Nobody knows where a the little legendary off. raider. Damn Nuka Cola songs stuck in my head again. That last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. That's one. Look, it's been real busy lately. I guess things are going well.
The overboss returns. Now, well, you're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopaths? Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. They'll do what they're told. And that's all that matters. Oh boy, okay. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. Parks, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back. One at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. I thought the whole point of having minions was to get them to do the dirty work. Yeah, yeah, give it time. You still got to prove to them you're worth following, remember? So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. No thanks. I got this. Suit yourself. Change your mind. I'll be around. You can fix just about anything. Guns, hey. computers, mm -hmm. hold position. People. Got it. Just got to have the right tools. Anywhere. Heads up. Moving out.
Humans all look funny. 